Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Major Geeks Windows Tweaks, a free tool you could use to tweak your Windows installation. So if you haven't been to the Major Geeks website, you probably should check it out because they have tons and tons of tools you could use to do just about anything. So they actually put together a whole tweak package here. So this is pretty old, uh, but if you haven't seen it, you, you might want to check it out. You can use it for Windows 11, but a lot of them will not work. So that's why I'm doing this video on Windows 10. So you could always download it and try it out and see what works and what doesn't work. All right, so once you download the zip file and extract it, you just have to run the executable, but you'll see they have all these folders here as well. And this is where all the files are kept for the tweaks. So they're all registry tweaks with an on and off reg file here, but the interface just allows you to run them easily and actually see what they do rather than having to browse through the folders here. All right, so we're gonna open up the app here. Okay, then it asks if you wanna see how to back up your system. And of course you should do a system restore point before using anything like this. I'm gonna say no. Make this full screen here so you can see what we're doing. All right, so up here we have, you know, you can visit their website, uh, learn how to back up the registry, watch their videos make a donation, and then there's some settings for the app here. So you probably want to uncheck this if you're not going to use it all the time. And then you could uncheck that warning about the backup if you want to uncheck that as well. All right, so now we have all the sections here, which are similar to what you saw in the files here, appearance, backup, context, and so on. And then you could just expand them, or you could come here and expand everything. And you could see they're all the registry files here. Some of them have a tutorial, some of them have a readme. We'll just kind of browse through some of these real quick. Backup options, context menu options. So for example, if you want to restart Explorer context menu, we could double click it. And if you're in Windows 11 and you try and use one of these that doesn't work, it'll give you a pop-up message saying it's not supported for your operating system. And then you also might run into this as well. So it requires the app to be run with admin rights. So we should probably start over here and do that. Okay, so you can see it just opens up the typical registry prompt where you can just say run and say yes. Okay, so that's been added so we could test it out. So some of these might require restarting Windows Explorer or you could restart your computer for the same effect. So there we go, now we have a restart Explorer option. Then we come back here and remove it if we want. All right, so now it's gone. All right, so let's go through some of these other sections here. Delete files and folders. You can see some of these are batch files too, instead of just registry files. Disable some features. There's a lot of stuff here. Drives. File Explorer, a lot of stuff in here too as well. Some gaming tweaks, graphics, keyboard and mouse, miscellaneous, networking, power, PowerShell on command prompt, Printers, search options, settings, shortcuts, sound. Looks like this list keeps going on and on. It's almost like it's growing as I'm going through it here. Start menu and taskbar. Start up and shut down. So if you want to enable or disable the lock screen, for example, uh, user accounts, Windows 10 only, 
And then here we have some Windows 11 only. So you know you could at least use these in Windows 11. Uh, firewall. And then Windows Updates. All right, so as you can see, there are a ton of options here you could use. You could even search for them here as well if you don't want to scroll through the list. And then as you click on one, you can see it shows you what's in that registry file in case you were curious before you run it. And then down at the bottom, if you want to watch a tutorial about this tweak, besides this one, you could uh, check that out. It might have some more detailed information. And that's about it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the Major Geeks Windows Tweaks and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.